Fight for Life is a video game developed and published by Atari for its Jaguar system in 1996. It was the last game released for the Jaguar by Atari themselves before Atari dropped support for the platform, although Telegames released some games for the platform until May 1998. Gameplay Fight for Life is a 3D polygon-based fighting game. The gameplay mechanics were very similar to Virtua Fighters, but with two notable exceptions. First is that the player begins the game with no special moves. The player has the ability to steal two special moves away from defeated opponents. In this way, the player is able to build a unique fighter. Second, unlike all but a few fighting games available at that time, fighters could actually maneuver in 3D. The characters accomplish this by sidestepping, allowing them to move around the arena in a counter-clockwise direction while still facing their opponent. Topic. Story In the single-player mode, the player controls one of the eight deceased characters in a tournament battle to escape from hell and get a second chance at life. The characters in the game are Kimura, a ninja Ian, a soldier Kara, an American mom Pog, a dock worker Mr. G, a professional boxer Muhali, an Arabian fighter Jenny, a worldwide girl Loon, a kung fu master Topic. Development In 1994, Atari hired Sega AM2 programmer François Bertrand to work on a 3D fighting game for the Jaguar. Bertrand's previous experience was in developing the camera and collision systems for Sega's Virtua Fighter Polygon Fighter. He served as the lead and only programmer on Fight for Life. The company BioVision assisted in development, and all the game's moves were recorded using their motion capture system. The 3D format and polygon graphics were intentionally modeled after Sega's Virtua Fighter and Namco's Tekken arcade games that were scheduled to be translated for the company's respective home systems. Topic: Reception Next Generation reviewed the game, and stated that, If you own a Jaguar and you're looking for a fighting title, you'll need to keep waiting. Another Next Generation critic judged Fight for Life to be an effectively Next Generation fighter, saying the texture-mapped polygonal characters are detailed, the animation is smooth, and the true 3D movement and defense system are innovative. However, he concluded that the slow responsiveness of the controls and the extremely slow pace override these assets, since they make the game boring to play. The three reviewers of GameFan panned the game, heavily criticizing its graphics, camera, music, and gameplay. Dave Halverson concluded, What an appropriate send-off for the JAG. A terrible system's terrible last hurrah. In a retrospective review, Kyle Knight of Allgame also found Fight for Life's crippling flaw to be its slow controls and pace, speculating that, You could almost read a book while playing, and glance at the screen every so often to keep track of what's going on. However, he also described the graphics as having minimal detail and the animation as awkward. Noting the move-stealing feature to be its one positive quality, he summarized the game as one of the poorest examples of 3D fighter you'll find anywhere. Electronic Gaming Monthly's Scenebaby put it as number three in his 20 Worst Games of All Time feature. <laughs>